Um, hello to all my fans. Today we're making hummus and I'm super duper excited. Fact, you only need five ingredients to make hummus. That's a lemon, that's a lime. I'm counting them as the same thing. I'm also boiling up some water right now. Um, I didn't include water as an ingredient when I first said there were five, but water is an ingredient, so actually there are six ingredients. Next, open up your can. Um, it takes two hands to do this, actually. I can't, I can't show you right now. Now you're gonna let these boil for about 17 and a half minutes, approximately. Step four is to remove the jacket because when Tamara's in the kitchen, you know it's gonna get hot. So breaking news right now, I'm putting on my shoes because I have to go respond to an emergency on campus. Um, I'm on call right now. So turn off the stove and leave. Okay, once you finish saving the world from exploding, don't worry, nothing actually exploded, my brain did, but that's really about it. You can turn your pot back on to boil. I wish I could tell you all what happened just a few minutes ago. It was very exciting, lots of drama, but it's all confidential, so top secret, sorry, bye. The amount of garlic you add should be directly proportional to how single you are. I'm adding two garlics because I'm too single for my own good. Also, in regards to how single you are, I really meant that in terms of how much garlic breath you're going to have after you eat this recipe. All of the oil. If all this hard work, cooking and dealing with really important emergencies is making you hungry, you deserve a snack. So while I wait for my hummus to cook, I'm going to eat some hummus. Um, this is store-bought, so not as good, but whatever. So I'm adding all the chickpeas to the blender. I'm draining the water, so now we're going to reserve that for later. If you have extra time, feel free to skin your chickpeas, but, um, no, I don't have that time. My friend told me hummus isn't sexy, um, but I think hummus is probably the sexiest dip I've ever eaten in my life. So thank you, Brian Schickman, for that. 